what's up guys and welcome to a new meshing tutorial in this video as you can see we're gonna try to do the meshing of a rivet joint the file that I'm going to use it, to use today I got it from someone so I cannot share it with you but the files of the rivet joints are available online and like here you can see this is one of them in the GrabCAD community website so here is my pre-post and here is the rivet joint IGS file so I can just drag it and put it here okay the units uh, doesn't matter for me I want to use mm okay you, as you can see we have three parts we have two plates and the uh, rivet in between of them so let's try to do it one by one okay and we start from the simple parts first there there is a mistake or an error in this file but it's okay we are going to uh, work around that but first we start with the simple things the first solid there are few ways how to mesh it this uh, part this geometry is quite simple so you can just mesh it with the solid measure tool so you click here and then default size this is a default size fine the target surface click on here then mesh okay now you can see this is the mesh and you just accept I had I will hide this one because I want to do again so click here click on target surface I can of course decrease the size of the element but here I can put how many layers so let's say if I put three layers you'll see now you'll have three layers through the thickness except okay but here if I hide this solid you can see like the circle is not very nice right that's why for me this mesh is not very good so i will click one and two and delete them and then i will try to do again with a better method and the second method is here tetrahedron measure so uh, i can either choose this one or this one for now i need to choose this one because i don't have any parts which are made from shell so i cannot use the first option here i have to use the second option which is skin geometry because this guy now is a geometry so click here or instead of clicking yeah i can either click here or click this one so the element size is 10 try this one you can see the size is very big so let's say i put 1 mm now you can see here with 1 mm the mesh is better but uh, right now still we don't have uh, any solid mesh after i click here i can straight away go here and there you go i have the solid mesh so here this is the solid mesh if i click on f2 you can see that it is a solid okay but this one is a constant size if i want the size to be different i can do like this first the same step sorry click this one first then this one i want to i want to find a mesh here around the circle hole around the hole so what i do here i can play with these two and click remesh here it will remesh and it will have uh, the size this one and this one maybe you cannot see the difference but you can increase or decrease these two and you will have a var variable mesh size okay but again it will be the same mesh which is tetrahedron so what if you don't want the tetrahedron elements you want the normal brick elements 
yeah i will show that on this one what you can do if you want to do that you can first mesh using the auto measure you click here and you mesh okay again here we can control the size or we can make the variable mesh size oh sorry the the elements very small here so i think my pre post gonna hang yeah i think it's not responding so we will do it again just close here close program i open again so i take here the ijs file put it here the size is in mm okay fine i hide everything i will just show one solid this one now i mesh variable mesh size click on this guy now compute the size and then we mesh okay now you can see we have variable mesh size but for this one i will just stick with the uh, fixed mesh size compute mesh maybe i'll make it one or even 0 0.5 all right now what i can do i can mesh this one because i want to know the thickness and the direction and then i go to element element generation and here i want to have solid and i will extrude this uh, red shell elements but before that i need to know what is the distance it is 1 mm in the y direction okay so here what i can do i can uh, solid face track don't have solid i have shell click my part thickness is one segment how many i see i would say three for example okay now i can just use the direction minus uh, y because in this case it happened to be in minus y but what if the direction is something not in the x or y or z you can click here direction okay here i have many options i can say the direction is between two nodes so i click this one and i click this one and then done you can see even after the calculation it will say it is minus y so here i uh, create and then accept so now now if i hide this one then i will show only the solid now i have the first plate or rather it was the second plate okay uh, the first plate we had mesh it in the previous uh, file but it crashed so i want to make it again from here but instead of meshing i just want to play with this guy and uh, make a copy of it so i go to translate then by part i know already the direction is y and the distance is minus one then copy elements and i need to put a new part id here i put 10 then now i have this guy all right now i want to rotate it first i need to create a node here right so what i can do here i go to mesh node edit i think uh, create position fe advance and then i want to create a node in the middle of this uh, in the middle of the hole so it will be average center and then click on the edges propagate the selection and then click on compute and apply and accept so now i have this node which i will rotate around it so here click on global go back to global the rotation axis is y and then click this one this node is the rotation will be around this node and then the part that i'm going to rotate is the blue is the brown part 180 degree and then rotate and then you have it go to node edit delete because we don't want this node anymore so delete accept 
Alright, now we are done with the simple part, now the dif difficult part, which is how to make the rivet itself. Actually, this one is not that difficult, but the problem is the original file that I have it, I have, have some problems. You can see here, this is straight and this is not complete circle. As we see from this file, both of the ends of the rivet, the upper end and the lower end, both of them are half spheres. But in my file here, they got some problems. So we need to work ourselves around that. So we go to element mesh, auto measure. I mesh this one and then compute the size. Let's say I want to make it uh, 0 0.5. Then mesh. Okay, good. Now I mesh this one and this one. I mesh them all. This one as well. Mesh. Okay. So that's all what I need here. What I can do next is just play with the existing mesh. So here, first I want to rotate again. Rotate around the Y axis. And uh, the center of rotation is this one and the rotation is 180 degree and click by part and then copy elements you delete this one so it will become the same part id and there you go accept now what i can do i want to reflect this one mm, here this one reflect the origin is here and then it's normal to Y. Click by part, uh, copy element, and then reflect. Then there you go, accept. And you duplicate the nodes. Yes, to make it a closed surface. Okay, now we have the rivet, but still it is a shell. We want it to make. We want to make it solid. Okay, you can see it's empty inside. So we go back to our tetrahedron measure tool but before that I move copy I make both of them same part ID then measure then go to tetrahedron measure then now I click on skin geometry uh, sorry pick skin part the in the beginning of this video if you remember I click on the second option but this is a part, not a geometry, so I click on skin, I choose this one, pick skin parts, then click on this one, then mesh, then accept, and then you have it, part number 14. So these guys, I hide them, okay, click on F2, then hide the shell and show the solids, and there you go there i have it so that's all for this short tutorial thank you very much and see you next time bye bye